Many people like to keep their business and their personal lives separate. And that makes a lot of sense in a lot of ways. But when it comes to networking, that could mean you miss out. Networking is based on the premise of six degrees of separation. The fact that the people in our network can connect us to the people we most want to meet. And the best networkers understand that effective networking means selling through your network rather than to them. Using the six degrees of separation as a premise, we can then understand that the people we most want to meet could be connected to us, not through business contacts, but through our family and our friends. And if we understand what they do and who they know, and also who they want to meet, we can connect them more easily and we can allow them to help us. Now, a lot of people, as I said, have a problem with this. They like to keep family and friends, personal life, separate from their business. I was working with a team from a major bank a couple of years ago, and halfway through the session, the deputy regional director went out of the room to make a phone call. And he came back in to say he'd phoned his brother-in-law, and he'd asked him if he'd refer him. He had never asked his brother-in-law for referrals before, but he came back into the room with the promise of three introductions. In another session with a manufacturing company, the managing director swore in the middle of my workshop. That's not normally a good sign. But he'd suddenly realised that in the 18 months he'd been there, he'd never made the connection that his wife was in a senior position in an ideal prospect. And when he spoke to her, her firm were only too happy to talk to him and they were interested in what he did. There is a line between your personal and your business life, but it may not be as thick as you think it is. Why not allow your family and your friends to help you get the connections you need? Understand who wants to help you the most. Ignoring family and friends as a route to your prospects means you may be missing out on huge opportunities and you could also be denying them the pleasure of helping you.